The World Travel and Tourism Council reports that tourism provides direct employment for over 100 million people globally, across many sectors, travel, tourism, hospitality, events and leisure. If we consider other roles in the workforce that contribute, perhaps less direct, but still crucial services, then estimates inflate tourism employment to over 275 million jobs worldwide. Over the next decade, growth in travel, tourism and supporting sectors is projected to create 75 million new jobs. The job creation value of tourism is well recognised by policymakers. It's actually going to provide jobs for individuals in more areas of Australia, be it the capital cities or the regional areas. When you invest in tourism, you're actually investing in building up jobs for the rest of the economy. Regardless of investment, this is a massive and diverse global workforce comprising people of varied age and ability, ethnicity and education, culture and creed. Just as it is problematic to define tourism, it is equally difficult to determine precisely what comprises the tourism workforce. Our tourism workforce research at the University of Queensland has conceptualized the major aspects of the tourism workforce to provide a guiding framework. The tourism workforce is enacted at three levels, macro, meso, and micro. The macro refers to the global policy and destination level. The meso is the organizational level, and the micro is the individual level. Tourism is a labor-intensive industry, with most of its workforce employed in frontline, customer-facing jobs. Tourism employment, although often very different in various parts of the world, is generally characterized by a combination of features that make its workforce unique. Some of these, often repeated, include long, unsociable working hours, intense conditions, modest remuneration, soft entry barriers to both employment and business ownership, low skill levels, and seasonal, often precarious, employment. While these characteristics depict a not entirely inviting picture, tourism employment affords many benefits. The development of transferable skills, entrepreneurial opportunities, stimulating and good feel working environments, locational and social mobility, and opportunities to do good to guests as well as communities. On balance, the sometimes negative public perceptions of tourism employment are reproduced by stereotypes that are not representative of the enormously diverse and rewarding opportunities the industry offers. I am originally Dutch, so I entered the country in April 2015. Um, went driving first and sort of ended up in Longreach and um, got a job with the Kinnons. After that I might, might, you know, move my way a little bit closer to the coast to be closer to my family, because in the end, you know, you do sacrifice a little bit. But um, yeah, still, definitely, definitely tourism. It, it just, yeah, stole my heart a bit. Tourism's seemingly unstoppable growth is guaranteed to provide increasingly diverse and rewarding opportunities into the future, together with both foreseeable and unforeseeable challenges. In spite of all, the tourism workforce remains a neglected area of research. Our team has undertaken innovative research, investigating and resolving tourism workforce's most entrenched contemporary and future challenges.